Um, the, did you see the videotape of Mr. Depp in the kitchen? Yes. Okay. Did Ms. Heard imagine that or create that, or was she responsible for that somehow? Objection. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Um, what, if any, impact did you have? Did that have on your opinions watching Mr. Depp in that video? I'm not sure. It, it was one of many pieces of the exhibits and other collateral data that I considered. I'm not sure what the direct impact was or if that could be measured. All right. Now, counsel asked you whether you had conducted any type of examination on Mr. Depp, and I believe your answer was no, correct? No. You did not review any medical records or psychological records from Mr. Depp either, did you? I reviewed all of the records that were available. Do, do you recall reviewing medical and psychological rec records I, on Mr. I, Depp? Yes. Do you recall Dr. Blaustein referring to Mr. Depp having rage? No, I actually recall him referring to Ms. Hurd in that note. Your testimony is that Dr. Blaustein was referring to Amber Hurd as having rage? I transcribed several of the notes, and I may be missing a time when he I said that about Mr. Depp. The handwriting was very difficult to transcribe, but there was one instance in which I recall transcribing him stating that Mr. Depp reported that Ms. Hurd had rage. D Dr. Blaustein's deposition was taken, was it not? Uh, I don't recall. Do you recall, uh, so I take it then you don't recall him testifying that Mr. Depp told him he had rage and demons? I don't recall. Okay. Do you recall Dr. Blaustein testifying that Mr. Depp looked at his wife, Amber, like his mother or his sister that he didn't like? I haven't seen his deposition. I don't recall that. Okay. Now, did you see and do you know whether Mr. Depp has ever been diagnosed with any personality disorders? My, that's not relevant to my task to conduct an evaluation of Ms. Hurd. So, so would it, would I, I do not know that he has had one. It was not in the records that he did. All right. So one way or the other, you don't know whether Mr. Depp suffers from any personality disorders. There was, that's not my task. Okay. Let me go to uh, IPV perpetrators, would you agree that accusations of infidelity can be considered one of the characteristics of a personality perpetrator of IPV? It can be a characteristic of a lot of things. It is something that can be weaponized if somebody is trying to or is having rage toward their partner. Let's go to page 270. Line three, my question was, are accusations of infidelity considered one of the characteristics of a perpetrator, a personality perpetrator of IPV? The objection. The, um, it, the question is, is, is vague and ultimately ambiguous. I, I don't understand the objection. I'll overrule the objection. Okay. And your answer under oath Can at that time? Can you remind me of the page? I thought page was... 270. Line three uh, was where my question was, okay. and your answer is at line eight. You said it can be, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And interrogating your partner about unfounded accusations of infidelity can be abusive. Would you agree? It can be if they're unfounded, yes. Okay. Um, and psychological consequences for a victim of IPV can include diminished self-esteem, correct? Yes. Depressed mood? Yes. Anxiety? Yes. Fearfulness? Certainly. Diminished self-agency? Yes. Feeling powerless? Yes. Loss of sleep? Yes. And IPV is a traumatic stressor, would you agree? It is. All right. And IPV is capable of resulting in PTSD, is it not? It is. Okay. And IPV is capable of resulting in other trauma-based disorders, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, 
Amber's medical examination, she was cooperative, correct? Her psychological, yes. She okay. was cooperative and polite. Okay. And, and in the two full days of examination, you felt she was polite and answered all your questions, except in one instance where she furrowed her brow when you were asking about friendships in high school, correct? That's not correct. All right, let's go to page 275. So we start on 274 with the, was she polite? You said yes. Was she cooperative? Yes. Um, did she answer your questions? For the most part, yes. This is uh, now we're on page 275, lines 4 and 5. And then my question was, did she at any time become combat combative or unfriendly with you or angry? And your answer was, there was one instance in which she appeared annoyed and the posturing forward a bit, more assertive tone, furrowed brow, when I was questioning something, following up on data that had been inconsistent about friendships in high school. Other than that, she was very polite. Is that your answer at that time? That was my answer at that time, and it's inconsistent with the question you had just asked me. And would you agree that appearing for this examination with an expert who had been retained by Mr. Depp more than a year earlier might be a little stressful? Yes. And in fact, not only had you been retained by Mr. Depp, but what had been communicated by Mr. Depp's team was that you had called Amber Heard a liar and a perpetrator of abuse, correct? First of all, I, I'd like to clarify that I was not retained by Mr. Depp. I was retained by Mr. Depp's counsel. And what I can say that, yes, any examinee in a forensic context, you would consider that they're probably stressed. All right, would you agree that all perpetrators of IPV have anger management issues? Yes. And a large portion of IPV perpetrators have substance abuse issues? Not, uh, it, it's one of many factors that correlates with intimate partner violence, but there are certainly many people who perpetuate intimate partner violence who do not have substance abuse issues. All right, let's go to 131, line 17. One thirty one, you said? Yes, line 12 is what I have here. And I'm talking about, you said, and just to give context, remember I was asking you how many, what percentage of uh, people you treat that are perpetrators, and you'd said 5%. Do you recall that, just for substance? I see that here. Okay. And then I, then I said, um, of the 5% that are IPV perpetrators that you've treated over the last eight years, how many of these perpetrators have substance abuse issues? And your answer was? I see that I answered with a figure of speech, a large portion. Okay, thank you. And it's common for the perpetrator to essentially gaslight the victim, accuse them of being the perpetrator. Are Would you agree? Are you in a different area or are you asking me a separate question? I'm asking question? you a question. Oh, um, and it's common. sorry, can you please repeat it? Yes, and it's common for the perpetrator to essentially gaslight the victim, accuse them of being the perpetrator. Would you agree? That's exactly how it was asked in the deposition. So I'm I understand. It is a compound question. I'll okay. the objection. And it's common for the perpetrator to essentially gaslight. I don't think that's, Your Honor, it's just, I think it's just one question. Um, let me try it. To gaslight the victim, isn't it? That's a characteristic of psychological abuse, yes. Okay. And, and it's common then for them to accuse them of being the perpetrator, the victim. That's a characteristic of abuse from women perpetrated against men. It's actually very, very common. About 90% of male victims of IPV have reported that a female partner who abuses them makes threats to uh, report their partner as an abuser. It's less common for men to make that statement to female partners just because there's less potential consequence. Isn't it true, though, that some form of gaslighting is often present in these personality-based IPV scenarios? Yes. Okay. 
And it's distressing for the victim to be accused, is it not? Absolutely. It causes them a lot of fear? Certainly. And it causes them a lot of distress? Absolutely, yes. And in fact, they feel falsely accused, correct? Yes. And they feel paranoid? Yes. And they feel frightened? Yes. Afraid that everyone's going to believe the perpetrator, correct? Yes. And in fact, they're afraid they're going to lose their security, correct? Can you clarify what you mean by security? I'll ask the next one. And they're afraid they're going to lose their reputation, correct? Yes. Okay. Now let's talk about the testing for a moment. You talked about the MMPI-2, but that's not the most recent MMPI, is it? No, it's the most researched. Okay. Now, you, you need to have an elevated... Uh, Doug Stanhope knows her. His Dan Hope's, Stanhope's buddies with uh, Johnny Depp. He knows her. He knows her well. And he's like, she's out of her mind. And I'm like, like, like a crazy actress. He's like, yeah, yeah like th those are real. Of Th course, those, there's a ton they, of them. There's a lot of them. That's they, why and they're they good. Seem, they, that is why they're good. Yeah, they're great actresses. They can just start crying. Oh, yeah.